Hi friends, welcome back to the channel SciTicker. In this one, I'm going to compare the UFS Torres 3.1 read and write speeds comparison between the Mi 10T versus Realme X1 Max device. So both phones do have the UFS Torres 3.1 write. So let's see, by using these three applications, we'll be able to see what is the read and write speeds between these both phones. And the first application, let me try using the Android benchmark application. So this exact application which I'm trying to use, which is 9.2.2, as you can see friends, let's start doing the test. So here we will be able to see exactly the read and write speeds comparison between these both phones, Mi 10T and the Realme X and Max device. So let's see friends how well it's going to compare with the previous generation UFS Storage 3.1 and in the previous generation UFS Storage 3.1 we got about overall score 53,000 and here in the Realme X and Max we did get about close to 61,000. And take a look at the read speeds is about 1655 versus 1720 and the write speed is 735 versus 1022. So read speed is very kind of similar, so very close to each other, nothing much huge difference, but write speed is a huge difference. I think uh, close to 300 kind of difference is there between these both phones. And random access memory as well, you can see 222 versus 260 Mbps and 251 versus 250 Mbps. Random access read and write speeds. 53,000 versus 61,000. As you can clearly see friends, comparing between these both phones. And let me to use next application, which is an Android Bench application. And now we'll be able to find out exactly the results, what is happening between these both phones. So I just want to try a couple of applications before actually coming into the conclusion, what's going on. That's the reason I'm trying to use a uh, multiple application at this moment. And Realmex and Max did finish the test first and then the mi 10 finished. And in the first sequential read speed, so similar kind of results we did observe. So read speed is very close to each other, read speed, there's no issues, but the write speed is 1021 in this uh, real Max and Max device which we got and 724 in the Mi 10T. If you want, you can pass this video to take a note of these readings. And random access read and write speed is higher in the real Max and Max. And all the last three values are higher in the real Max and Max. Let's move to the final test, which is a CPDD test as well. Here we'll be able to find out exactly the results, what's going on between these uh, both phones. And sequential write, we got about close to 495. And sequential read speed, 1 GB we got. I'm just trying to use a multiple applications friends, just to get to know what is happening. And the Mi 10T did finish the test faster than the Realme X and Max. And here we got the final result between these both phones. Now we'll be able to exactly compare what's going on in terms of the read speeds and the copy speeds and everything, memory copy. So if you want, you can pass this video as well. And that's it friends, thank you for watching. This is a quick comparison between both phones. And overall, the Realme X and Max seems to be having slightly kind of higher advantage in terms of the overall uh, scores, read and write scores. That's what I did see. As you can see, a little bit, little bit advantage over the ML 10T device. And instead of more updates, and definitely very soon I'll try to do the USB data transfer speed test as well. So which is going to be really very interesting to see how well the MI 10T gonna handle. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Unless you have more updates. And meanwhile, signing off. And bye.